five forms of abundance. Most of us want to be rich because we think that loads of money allow us to get anything and everything, including happiness. But money isn't the only form of abundance and richness in our lives. Abundance is the ability to do what you need to do when you need to do it, no matter what form it comes. Forms of abundance. There are five forms of abundance apart from money. They are being given a gift, having something to trade with someone, synchronicity, imagination, and communication. Now, all of these forms of abundance allow us to get support whenever we need it, which fulfills the definition of abundance. So synchronicity, what is that about? Synchronicity is about the right people showing up at the right time. The right opportunity showing up at the right time. The right resources showing up at the right time. Yes. We expect only one form of abundance to appear in our lives, thus closing the doors to the other forms of abundance. Sometimes multiple abundances work in harmony, complementing each other. Just imagine how dreamy and exciting our lives could get if all the forms of abundance would work in tandem with each other to always enable us to pursue our highest excitement. Ooh, so what's another form? Trade. So it's kind of like the barter system. Say, having something to trade with others is a form of abundance. So he gives an example of a photographer. And she has this dream of traveling the world, taking pictures at all of these ancient sites like Stonehenge, pyramids, etc., so forth. So she comes up with the idea, let me go to the airline and trade my services. She proposed that if she took pictures of all of these sites and provided these pictures to the webs, uh, the airline's marketing teams, you know, they could provide her with airline travel and fare to these sites. So what ended up happening is that they did agree to her terms and was she was given all the resources she needed. They provided her with airfare, lodging, and a salary to go to all the sites that she proposed and have that experience. So we can trade things to receive more things. The next form is imagination. Imagination is a form of abundance. Not many people are imaginative. If you think of kids from zero to seven years of age, they're always dreaming up things, playing, creating. It's just that we don't practice it as often as we become adults. And it becomes harder and harder to do. And imagination requires some form of thinking. Not many people are fond of thinking too much. Most of the time, we just operate on an autopilot, our default modes. If we allowed our creative juices to flow by exercising our imaginative capabilities, we could easily enjoy the abundance of possibilities. But often we look down on creative work like artistry, music, painting, dancing, writing. So we close the door to abundance that resides within the imagination. So here's a story about a guy who didn't want to spend a single penny to buy a house. Starting with a red paper clip, he did a total of 14 barter exchanges and eventually got the ownership of the house. So not only did he use his imagination, but he also used the abundance of trading to unlock that possibility. Yes, gifts. So being given a gift is another form of abundance that not many of us recognize. We think gifts can only come in gift wrap boxes, but people are constantly gifting us with something or the other. 
Can you remember a time when somebody helped you with something without expecting anything in return? I'm sure you have at least a few such experiences. So I was walking down a long road and it was hot that day. And I was on my way to the bus station and I was carrying a heavy bag on my shoulders. I had no water bottle. The summer was hot. It was, it was a long walk there. I was feeling very exhausted, uncomfortable, it was humid. And the lady passed by going towards the same direction where I was headed. She moved ahead of me by a little, but then stopped. Then she turned back and said to me, hey, you want a ride? A little, I was a little leery, but I said, yeah. And she dropped me at the station for free. That was a gift to me that the universe sent me when I needed it. So you have to be open to receiving gifts. A lot of times we close ourselves off to gifts and we close ourselves off to abundance. So if someone is willingly trying to give you resources, accept it. Because that in itself is telling the universe that you accept abundance. Communication. Communication is another form of abundance, which is often taken for granted and not used properly. I see this over and over again with the couples I work with. They come into my office with the goal of making their partner change. And their goal in communication is to say what they have to say so that person does exactly what they feel they need to do. But with that, you're coming from a mindset of scarcity and lack, and you're closing yourself off from abundance. We don't often speak of what we need because we are too afraid of how others will judge us. And hence, our needs don't get met. So learning how to communicate assertively ends that cycle of suppression, manipulation, frustrations, and drama. Just because we can't say directly what we need, that in itself will create separation from what you want and what you desire. So be assertive. Communicate what you need. These are the five forms of abundance. And I want to say thank you to the teachings of Bashar and Myers Life. Six, seven, eight, feeling great. I'm gonna shine, life is good. I'm doing fine, man. Gonna do it right and do it big, yeah, yeah. Look into the sky with all the beautiful color, but there's more than just for me, so gonna share it with another. I got to show, to give, let out, I want to sing and shout. Take a look and see a beautiful morning that turns into a beautiful evening, and together make a beautiful life. And if you wanna see, then come along with me, that's right. And if you want a good tomorrow, it's pretty simple, got a final life to follow. And if you do, the Myers helped me face the issues that were tearing my relationship apart. They provided a safe environment to work through those difficult issues associated with our children, work, finances, trust, and intimacy. I feel I achieved a closeness and a renewed commitment to my relationship. I highly encourage couples to face their challenges and give the Myers a call. We want to thank the Myers for all of their support. We were on the brink of a divorce. We just could not communicate. We would have the same argument over and over again. But after a great deal of reflection, we actually enjoy being around each other again. You taught us skills that have helped us manage conflict. Yeah, uh, we had a great spiritual conversation with a couple that had vested interest in helping us find our peace. As a startup entrepreneur, I have been able to leverage the Myers coaching. First of all, they are a sounding board for my personal anxieties as I develop and fine-tune my leadership. I would get so irritated. I now have a plan to manage my anger and a support system that holds me accountable. They are non-judgmental people with tremendous skill and talent, an asset for anyone trying to develop professionally.